On guard! I think I cut my thumb. Welcome back guys to another edition of Looted. Today we are checking out a mysterious product. And the only reason I say that is because literally on the packaging it just says contents, magic tricks. That's literally all we've got to work with today. So inside this envelope is actually something I saw on Reddit and I wanted to give it a go, but now I actually have it. I'm actually kind of worried. This might be the day I get an eye taken out. I know I've had some close calls in the past, but this actually might be the day. Plus contact with us directly if you have any problems. Well, if I lose an eye, I know who to get in touch with. So inside this tiny box is the magic trick. Fingers crossed when I open this box, it doesn't just lunge out of me and take my face off. Let's see what happens. Ah, all right, we're in. Voila! What is this made of? It's definitely metal, and that's the scary thing about this thing. <laughs> Obviously, as you can see, it, it, it does look... It looks a bit precarious, if you ask me. It looks a tad dangerous. <laughs> so basically, the concept here is that you pull this pin here, and once it detaches, it then just springs out. And it's meant to be like a hidden wand magic trick. Like, you pull the clip and you catch it. It's like, where did that come from? When I saw the gif of this being used on Reddit, it looked effortless. So you just pull the pin out with one hand, threw it in the air, caught it, and it was, like, super cool. And I was like... I want that in my life. And I feel like I'm instantly regretting that decision, but let's see how this goes. Don't worry, I've got vague first aid training. I learned how to put someone in recovery position. I like the fact it didn't come with any instructions. I'm gonna look up a video on how to use this before I like kill myself. Last thing I wanna do is end up in A&E with a star through my eye. It looks so effortless and seamless. I should be able to do that. There's no problem there. Don't look at it, cause it could put your eye out. <laughs> <laughs> That's the last thing I wanted to hear. <laughs> This seems really straightforward. You just need to hold one end so it doesn't just fly off and then you just pull this pin up and it should just spring out. So let's give it a go. Hopefully no one gets hurt. Are you ready? No. Nor am I. Please don't take off my fingers. <laughs> that wasn't so bad. Whoa, hey. I'm a magician now. <laughs> That's a pretty good length. I feel like it's not fully extended. I could be wrong. No, it's not so bad. All right, and then it should just push back. In theory. As you can see, Charles is never going to be a magician. What? I can do the card spitting out my mouth trick. <laughs> and now I can do the staff thing if I can get it back in. I think that makes me a magician. Thank you very much, intern. Ow. I got a boo boo. Come on, we're so close. Is this ASMR? <laughs> Honestly, in the position that it's in now, I think it is it is well and truly stuck. This thing is so hard to retract. What do you think will happen if we just threw this up against the wall? <laughs> I think throwing up against the wall is probably not a great idea. Imagine seeing a magician live on stage. He pulls this thing out, does one trick of it, spends an hour and a half trying to put it back. Oh, come on, come on. Pin on, pin on. How long did that take? About an hour. Pretty sure that wasn't a good use of my time. Well, I have to say that at least with this one here, suffice to say it's quite tricky to retract. But I'm sure with a little bit of practice and once you've gotten the technique down, it won't take half as long as it took me just now. There are some health and safety things to bear in mind, like not holding it towards your face or anything valuable, like a child or a priceless vase. Because I think this thing could cause some serious damage, especially when you consider how much sweat and blood went into getting this thing back to its original form. <laughs> Let's give it another go. I'm just gonna ping the spring forwards here. So there we go. So now it is armed. And now with one hand, one, oh God, I'm gonna regret this. Maybe one hand, maybe not one hand. <laughs> Stuff of magic. Yeah! <laughs> All those years of cheerleading practice. Could you uh, grab that for me? I think this thing was just designed to be a magic trick, but I really think that it has multiple uses. It could be like a secret pool cue. Use it to conduct an orchestra. You could use it for martial arts practice, like a star. Though it's made of some quite flimsy metal. It's quite hard. That could cause some damage. Yeah. Yeah, that, that, that could hurt quite a bit. Or we'll just use it as a cane. Hiya! You could use it as a pointer in a classroom. So if you look here, this here is blue. There's multiple uses is what I'm trying to say. Come on, come on, first try. Not first try, no, this is good. Oh, 
Oh, this thing is dangerous. My hands are like covered in shards of metal. Hold it, hold it. My hands are so sweaty. Go, go. Ow, ow, my finger. Ah, oh God. Ah. That doesn't get any easier. And it really makes me break a sweat. Look at my hands. They're gray and covered in shards of metal. I think the way that I've been retracting it by undoing it completely and then re raveling it is not ideal. It should be way simpler than that. And it's probably people online who are doing it a lot smoother, but uh, that's the only way that I can figure out how to do it. Every other way is just sort of gets stuck and you, you're kind of just left with a stump. Fight! <laughs> you really shouldn't have slippery hands <laughs> anytime. Oh no more, oh no more, oh no more. I got it, I got it. On guard! I think I cut my thumb. Just one layer of skin. Yeah, nothing too crazy. I think this is probably a good place to end this video when you consider that I have now multiple cuts on my hands, a few scrapes, and lots of shards of metal on my hands and the table. So if you're out there and thinking of picking up one of these for yourself and have no general knowledge of either magic tricks or general health and safety, I suggest that you stay away from this because chances are you're either going to hurt yourself or someone else around you. And I really don't want to have that on my conscience. Now I've said that, you can't sue me if you choose to buy one of these things and hurt yourself. But if you're an aspiring magic man and or woman, I think this would be a cool trick to have in your arsenal. Just be sure to spend a little bit of time and effort into getting this trick down and learning the multiple safety hazards of this thing, because it is very, very easy to hurt yourself the first few times you use this. Maybe get some Kevlar gloves or chain mail, you know, just to be safe. And with that, that's gonna be it for another edition of Looted. If you like this video, hit like if you really like all our videos, hit subscribe, we've got more videos on the way. You can also follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I've even got my own personal Twitter, which you can follow me on there. If you want to support the channel further, check out our Patreon page and also check out our Teespring account. We've got some new merch on there. Also check out our Discord server where you can chat with us directly. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one. I just cut my thumb again. Ow! Gotta be really, really careful with your thumbs on this because uh, it likes to take gouges out of them.